So let's imagine what we have uh, a disc or a cylinder that is rotating about an axis to its center at angular velocity omega star <coughs> in the uh, counterclockwise direction. So, uh, and then at a later time, we see it's the same object, but now, well, not the greatest drawing, it's moves a little bit closer to the center, something like that. So at a later time, we see that the disk is rotating, say, at two omega star in the clockwise direction, and the angular, sorry, the moment of inertia, let's say, is I naught, and we want to know whether there was a torque, right? So let's ask if there was a torque, and the relationship here is dL by dt equals torque. So we know that we don't see forces acting on the system, so we can't go through torque directly, but we can evaluate the angular momentum um, about the center of the uh, <clears throat> disk. Well, we could evaluate it about some other points and then conclude whether or not there's a torque about some other point. So first, uh, we, should, we should specify what we mean by uh, a torque about which point or which axis, and we mean uh, about this axis here, so about the center of these disks or cylinders. So let's evaluate the, their angular momentum, or its angular momentum, there's only one disk here. So this is really an early, earlier, and this is a later configuration. So the, in the earlier configuration, we have an angular momentum, which is about the, the center, which is I naught omega star. And so uh, the, the counterclockwise configuration came in as positive, and then we have a final angular momentum about the center, which is um, I uh, naught times uh, minus two omega star, because it's clockwise, and that, that's gonna be negative by convention. So uh, let's look to see whether the initial equals the final, or, or what's the difference in the angular momentum, which is the L final minus L initial. And so that is uh, minus two I, minus two I naught omega star, minus I naught omega star, and that's minus three I naught omega star. So uh, the angular momentum is not conserved, and a torque about uh, center must have uh, been present to create that difference in angular momentum. But we don't know anything specific about the torque because what we've just found is, right, so if we think of uh, that relationship, so we're just thinking of the magnitudes, then of course dl is equal to tau dt, and so we integrate both sides to get our dl, which we found, we found them at that magnitude, that's equal to this integral of the, of the torque over some time from t equals zero to some t equals t star or something like that. That doesn't tell us what the torque is. The torque could have changed over time, but overall this quantity is uh, not equal to zero.